Hey everyone, welcome to From the Depths. I'm Menti and this is episode 15 of the Battleship Brawl Tournament. In this episode we have the HMS Funky by Char Charadon facing off against the Cat uh, the Cataphract by Cool J. Uh, both of these ships have been seen in previous episodes, so we will get right into the battle here. Get everything underway. Now this is a secondary bracket match, so the, the loser of this match will be eliminated from the tournament and we will no longer see them uh, in this fight. Uh, the Cataphract getting its shots off first, it's splitting its DPS firing a uh, pair of shells at each of the HMS Funkies. Uh, this one, oh, it looks like it actually may have gone for the, uh, the, uh, spawn stick there, or that or the spawn stick was just really close. No, it is aiming at the spawn stick, and it hit it! Wow, that's some accuracy. Get an initial damage report. HMS Funky, one of them all the way down to 74% already. Cataphract, still 100, hasn't taken any hits. I bet you this one lost its gun. Yep, its guns have been blown off, as we've seen many times. Th those guns do not take hits very well. Oh, those pen death fuse looks like they're going for straight for the gun. Oh, no, hit the front of the ship, punched in through the hull. Uh, not too much damage. If the uh, the HMS Funky gets in close and gets off the gets off a volley with that main gun, like that main gun can do some damage, but. I don't think it's going to last that long. No, there it is. Explosions ripping through the compartment. The gun has been disabled. And if the hamsters were able to keep that thing down, you can bet that they're going to be able that the uh the cataphract's going to be able to. Oh jeez. Yeah, it's just rain and shows like this battle with both ca with both funkies having their weapons disabled, uh, this match is basically already over. Like, they can't even fight back. We're just waiting for the, uh... the Cataphract to finish off its prey. Just raining in a couple of those secondary high explosives. This one over here is down to 56%. 52%. And that is it. It will now despawn. It's a shame... Uh, it has it set to uh, attacking salvage rather than ignoring it, so it'll continue firing at this target even while it's despawning. Though it didn't take very long for it to despawn. These aren't the largest of ships because there's two of them. And that one, ah, uh, it skipped off the water. I thought that was another uh, deflection off of the armor, but no, it just skipped off the water. This HMS Funky down to 65%. The Cataphract doing quite well against targets that can't get inside its minimum range quickly like my broadhead did. The very, very strong design. I just think my ship had its kryptonite. Because it was actually uh, a faster vessel and uh, it was mentioned by uh, Cool J on the forums that he built this to punish the slower, heavily armored ships. And it is definitely doing that. The HMS Funky did not even, like, it did not stand a chance. It did no damage to the Cataphract whatsoever. And that is it. That is it. This round is over with the victor, victory going to the competition Cataphract by Cool J. We will get this uh, reset, get everything spawned back in, and get round two underway and see if the, uh, the Cataphracts can pull together and get a win. Or no, the, uh, the HMS Funkies can pull together and get a win or if the, uh, the Cataphract is going to dominate them yet again. Alright, got the ship set up, and we will get this underway. Maybe. I must have double tapped F11 there. <laughs> False start! Gotta redo the whole episode. No, I'm kidding. Anyway, yep, the, the Cataphract aiming its gun, getting off that uh, secondary volley. Just like it did before. Like it's aiming for the uh, the uh, spawn stick for some reason. They mu they must have separate AIs with separate targeting prioritizations, and those guns are are prioritized smaller targets. Because it is literally the only ship that has fired at the uh, HMS Funky's uh, spawn stick, while the HMS Funkies were alive anyway. Uh, the Cataphract's still at 100%. Funky's taking some hits. Oh, and there it is. 
single uh, dual barrel cram strike of explosive shells on that gun and up it goes. Those turrets definitely needed a bit more armor. They just kind of get looked at funny and they explode. And this one over here still has its guns, but uh, with the cataphract orbiting pattern and speed, I don't know if it's going to be able to get in range. Oh, and there it goes. That didn't even look like it was a direct hit on the cannon itself. You see, it blew up the insides. Just like that. Now all that's left is a single... Oh, it blew the turret off completely. Popped the turret. The EMP cannon isn't even aiming anymore. This Funky is uh, down to 55% again already. One more hit, and that will be it. It will be despawning. Yeah, it looks like, unfortunately, the, the those fragile turrets just... were just the, the downfall of the HMS Funky. And there it is. That one's 49% and going to despawn. So all we have left now is this HMS Funky single one. It did launch some EMPs, but it had to lob them because of its barrel damage and the cataphract turned. Didn't even get close to hitting. Ooh, those look like they might hit. Nope. Fell short. Fell behind it. Well, gotta give this give credit where the credit is due. This HMS Funky re refuses to give up, but uh, I think those pen depth fuse may have just made that decision for it. Yep, there goes the turret popped completely off 63% it has no weapons left that is it folks now all we're waiting for is the cataphract to rain in some shells and make this official in come the explosions bits and pieces flying everywhere and the uh, HMS Funky is despawning it Condolences to you, Char Charadon. Your HMS Funky was an interesting design. Um, it's a it's a shame that you set the uh, you made those main guns have such a short range. Uh, congratulations to Cool J. Your cataphract has completely dominated its opponent. Got out of the battle without even taking a hit. It certainly finished the battle at 100%, completely unscathed. Very strong entry here. I think uh, it just it got unlucky coming up against the Broadhead in its very first match. Uh, just, uh, I'm, and I just got lucky with that, with having the uh, the design set up that way. Just the way the AI played it out just ended up not doing well for it. But don't let that fool you. This is a very strong ship. And I, I like its design. I like it, the red and black coloring on it. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys on the battlefield.